what's going on so this video is going to be about the boston red sox a baseball team who i love because i'm a new york yankees fan but they recently went to the white house to because they won the world series over the dodgers last year and the dodgers choked but well, that's another story another time but anyway the interesting story about it was that predominantly the members that were representing the red sox were white players. Most of the minorities, the black and Latino players, did not go. And that's always pretty obvious because of the racist rhetoric that comes out of Trump's mouth and all on and so forth. But it also shows you that even though sports is used to break barriers, it's used as a means to, um, you know, narrow the gap psychologically on the playing field, even though the playing field ain't always fair, it's very telling that it was still a house divided. And it always answered the question, why are white players so pro-Trump? There are some exceptions. Chris Long, who I got much respect for. You know, there are a few white examples, but most times, nine times out of ten, uh, white players do not solidify themselves in solidarity when there is racial situations that occur. And because it's the privilege and the comfort, there's a lot of questions with that. But it was very telling though when I saw what was flashed, it was predominantly white at the White House. And that's usually how it goes, most of it, you know. Because I, 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 I mean, and of course, as much as I hate the Red Sox, I applaud Al Scora, the manager of Boston, who was Puerto Rican descent, and you remember how Trump basically spat on Puerto Rico because his ignorant racist behind that turkey don't even know that Puerto Rico is part of the United States. But he can't even Google and he can't even take a history lesson because he's a little illiterate. But anyway, it always shows how the difference between white and minority, even in this, how this, because people don't want to take part. I remember seeing... Red Sox legend David Ortiz, a man who definitely pained me against the Yankees, but I got much respect for Big for Big Poppy. He said, you know, being a minority man, it'd be hard to walk in there and look at Trump because of his racist rhetoric and what he represents and the white supremacy. So it's very telling in the even sports world what you saw with Nick Bosa and the racist rhetoric that goes on with that and how it's all tied together. So, but I applaud those Red Sox, the black and the brown that, st that stayed away from Trump. Told me what's real. So, anyway, that's my take about the Boston Red Sox. Mainly their white players went to the White House for the ceremony and in the house that's divided, even in sports. Feel free to leave them comments. Feel free to hit that subscribe when the bell rings. That's a new video, and I'm out for the day. Go Yankees.